So a question I commonly get asked is, can you weld on your off-grid uh, solar system? Uh, I hope to answer a couple of those questions today. Today we're just going to be using this uh, little uh, portable solar system I have. I use this for clients where they need something temporary or if I need to pump water from a dam or something similar like that. Uh, so this just has two 435 watt uh, long -ish solar panels mounted on an aluminium frame on wheels. We've just got a standard multi plus two 48 volt 3000 VA inverter, a 20 amp solar charge controller and just a Mektronics 4.4 kilowatt hour battery. Now this is usually enough to run a little site shed or something similar. It's got high discharge power so it will work well for this test. This is the welder I'll be using today. It's just a domestic 150 amp MIG welder, gasless. Uh, it's an inverter type. It's quite new. Uh, so usually I weld on 2C setting, which is quite slow and, and doesn't use a lot of power. Uh, but I'll, I'm currently running 0.9 millimeter wire. So we'll try it on 3D, then 5F and 6G, which is up to three mil plate thickness. I'm sure you could weld thicker. Uh, you just have to uh, reduce the wire speed because you'd, you'd be pulling too much power through an inverter like this uh, if you would try to go any larger than that. Uh, you'll see on the readings exactly how much we, we pull. Okay, so here's the result of the welding. Please don't judge my welding too harshly, um, just a uh, beginner. So we've got weld number one, which was on 2C. Then we've got weld number two, which is on 3D. Weld number three, which is on 5F. And weld number four, which is on 6G. Now it actually cut out. Uh, the inverter went into overload on this one. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend going that high on an inverter this small. So in conclusion, would I weld uh, with an off-grid solar system? Yes, I would. Uh, if I was to, if I knew I was going to be doing it all the time uh, and I had some decent welds to do, I definitely would be going for the 5 kVA multi plus instead of the 3 kVA. It's always better to overrate your equipment instead of underrating it. We don't really want to push things to the limit. Uh, if I had to do it on the 3kVA just to get out of trouble to do a bit of this, bit of that here and there, then I think it would be no problem. One more thing to note is uh, if you had other things plugged into the inverter, you might get some transients and voltage spikes because of the nature of the welder. Uh, this would be the same if you had a generator or even if you're connected to the, the regular power grid. So if you have really sensitive devices, you should really be either on a separate circuit uh, or disconnect those altogether. Uh, some electrical appliances are more sensitive than others and you wouldn't want to blow something just because you were welding on the same line as you had something else connected to. Especially when you have mixed earths and grounds, 
uh, this can this can cause issues. So now we're going to show what it's like to weld with the solar panels connected and charging the batteries. So while we're taking a break from welding, the battery should charge back up again uh, and then go back down again while we're welding. If we've got a decent duty cycle, then if it's sitting out in the sun most of the time, they should be uh, pretty well charged.